Firefighters have their hands full tonight, battling to protect homes in Kenwick, Forest Field, Floriot and Canning Vale. In the southern suburbs, a bushfire emergency has already claimed one house, destroyed storage tanks and shut down Tonkin Highway. We'll have live reports from the fire zone soon as the situation unfolds. But we begin our coverage tonight with this report from Rachel Carey. Flames moved fast, fuelled by strong easterly winds. Straight into the path of a Kenwick home, its roof ripped away by the heat. Just down the road, storage tank is destroyed, spewing black smoke, flames out of control. We've got confirmation of uh, one uh, derelict property. Uh, I believe there's another shed. Further extensive damage is unconfirmed. The blaze started just before one o'clock this afternoon. Tonkin Highway was still open southbound. Flames perilously close to cars as water bombers swooped in. Massive black cloud of smoke and we thought, well, it doesn't look like it's heading this way and then it's just all swung around and started going back. Not long after, the highway was shut down. Welshpool Road East blanketed with smoke. Then the blaze jumped the road. Residents in the western part of Wattle Grove were evacuated, their homes directly in the line of fire. But some were defiant, choosing to stay. Yeah, embers are coming, which is a sign the wind is turning. It's only one road coming up here, you can't get out the other end. That's a real concern. Firefighters battling to save the Hartfield Country Club and golf course, which still isn't out of the clear. The fire started just metres away from a dog kennel. All of the pets were evacuated. Spot fires starting ahead of the fire front. Firefighters taking no chances. Forestfield, Kenwick and Wattle Grove all under threat. Firefighters don't know what sparked the blaze. The arson squad is investigating. Rachel Carey, Nine News.